Okay, you're gonna do front shocks. I got the front tires removed. I got it jacked up. So I want to do the top part of the shock. So right here is the, the nut for the top part. Need to remove that nut. Driver's side, upper part of the shock is underneath the coolant tank. So we're gonna do this one first. I'm gonna take this nut off of the top. I'm gonna use an impact 15 millimeter socket. All right, I got it. There's my nut, smoking hot. What I do is I have my gun on there and I keep hitting the trigger. Whip, 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 whip. I'm not gonna sit there and constantly have it spin. I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm doing that jerky motion with the impact. That's what removes it, okay? What sometimes I've done in the past was if you had a good socket to fit on there nice and tight, you get on there and you bend it this way, and you pull it back this way, bend it that way, and you just keep on doing it back and forth, and you'll eventually snap it off. Hopefully you snap it off underneath the nut, not above the nut. That's last resort, okay? Doing the driver's side shock, you gotta remove two nuts on the coolant tank. There's one there, and there's one over here. Remove those two nuts. You can pick this end up first and swing it out a little bit and then you can pick this end up. And what you wanna do is pick it up, hold it up, and place it aside like that. And right there's your upper, upper shock mount right here. Put some penetrant on it. And then let it soak in for a little bit and then uh, get your impact and your socket on there and get it off. All right. Now to remove your lower bolts for your shocks is there's two holes here. Your nuts are up in there and your bolts are on top. So I'll put a 13 millimeter wrench on the head of the bolt and go through here with a 13 3 8 chrome and remove the nuts. Do that on both sides and remove the bolts, okay? So now I'm gonna lower down to my chest height, waist height, so I can collapse the shock and then pull it out. Okay, I got the shock out. I had the darndest time collapsing this shock. Ah, it was super strong, but what I did was, I put a jack stand underneath the lower ball joint. And I took the upper control arm bolts out, okay? And watch out. It's spring-loaded, so that's why I put the jack stand under there. There were two bolts behind, I mean, uh, two washers behind the control arm in the front. And one washer behind in the back, okay? And two behind the front, and one washer behind in the rear. Then I could pull my shock out a lot easier, okay? And now this bushing is a one-piece bushing over here, so make sure you don't lose the washer down inside your, your car somewhere, okay? Okay, here's the factory shock. This goes over that, like that. And this was the top washer. This was the bottom bushing. This is the top bushing. It just pressed together. So that's that. Here's the new one. This don't fit it because it's a fatter shaft, so you can't use that. So you can't use nothing from the old one. Okay. So this one takes this little plastic Teflon bushing right there. And we just got two bushings and two washers and a nut and a lock nut and a cover. It goes over the nuts. All right. So... Stairs, make sure 
These washers are the same. If they're not, which they're not, that one's gonna go on top, and this one's gonna go on the bottom. And then you push and put a bushing on there. Bushings are the same. Put that on there, boom, like that, okay? All right, and now the bottom, you got a little bit of an angle. So you wanna put that on the control arm like that, okay? We're on the right side, okay? Stick it up in there, push it up as hard as you can, and push the bottom in. Yep, put the top in first, slide the bottom over, undo your ABS line so it doesn't get in your way. And then line these up, put your bolts in there, Push them down to your hammer a little bit, the handle. Then you can put your nuts on the bottom of them. And then you want to tighten them up. And then we can jack it up a little bit more. You know, lower the car down. Line up our control arms. Make sure that they're all good. And then once we got our control arms on, and if you're not happy about jacking it up, putting the weight on the right front to push that up in there, then you just have to wait till you put the tires on and lower it down, okay? So anyway, so we're gonna do the lower bolts and tighten up the bolts and the nuts. Okay, you got your rear shocks in there, get the nuts on, and you wanna tighten them up to 21 foot-pounds, okay? And once you've done that, then you need to put your upper control arms in Remember the two front ones had two washers behind them? So get those started. And the back ones had one washer behind them. Get those started. You get everything started by your fingers, okay? And then you need to torque, tighten those up. And then you need to torque them to 48 foot pounds, okay? Yep, and then don't forget about your ABS wire. Make sure you put it back in its little fastener. Okay, you can lower it down onto your jack stand to bring the suspension up and so to close the gap in your shock so you can put your upper bushing on your washer and your nut and then tighten your nut to 19 foot pounds but i'm not comfortable using the jack stand so i'm gonna wait till i get my tire on i'm gonna wait till i get my other side done and my front tires on and i'm gonna lower down to the ground and put the weight on the vehicle to push the shocks up and then i'll put my bushings on and my nuts okay so that's where I'm at right now. Okay, I got my shocks in. Well, you might be able to get the shocks out without removing the control arms, uppers, but I couldn't. But if you can't either, then you need to loosen up those uppers and take them loose. Okay, but anyway, we got both sides done. All I need to do is the tops of the shock. So I got my tires on. And you need to lower it down to the ground. And you need to torque your wheel lug nuts to 100 foot pounds. And do that in a star pattern, okay? And then you can t put your uh, bushing and your washer and your nut on your top shock on both sides. And it says this, the spec is 19 foot pounds to tighten that nut. But I always uh smash that bushing a little bit and i don't want to totally smash it i just want it to be bulged out a little bit you know hopefully that's 19 foot pounds i'll double check it and then it comes with a jam nut and put the jam nut on and this one has a little cover you can put on the nuts okay you lower your suspension down and make sure that your bushing is in your hole okay center it Get an extension with a socket on it, get over it and move that shock over and get it inside that hole, okay? Let's see about the other side. See if, see how it's really not in it? I had to push it over from the other, on the other side, so, okay. Okay, I tightened it up and if you can see it, the bushing is just coming past the washer and that's where I want it I put a torque wrench on it at 16 foot pounds 
and I still could tighten it. I'm not hip on that one. So, but just get that bushing, just starting to swell past the washer, okay? Just starting, okay? And that, that'd be good. Now uh, you can put your double nut on it, and then uh, you can put your little cap on it. That's what mine came with. Okay, got this side done. Yep. You can just see it. It's got a nice little round bulge out. Okay. And that's it. Put my double nut on there and yeah. And we still want to have some sponginess in my bushing. That's why you don't want to just totally flatten them. Okay. Alright, so now I can put my coolant tank back in. And there's a tit on the bottom, goes in that hole, okay? And get this in here first. And that's gonna swing out. Push it down. Those are both in. Now you come over to this side. And you put this side in last. Okay, now you can put your nuts on and snug them up. Okay. And that will be it for your shocks for the front. Okay. Got to tighten these up. All right. That's it. Tighten them up and be done. All right. So that's it. That's how you do your front shocks. All right. If I helped you out doing these front shocks, hopefully you can subscribe to me. And uh, if you already did or whatever, I appreciate it. And don't forget to torque your front lug nuts to 100 foot pounds. Okay.